Let's take a look at what happens when we use a get method to submit our forms. So here we have a simple web form. Um, it's got uh, an action. It'll call the method results. Uh, it's going to use the method get. Um, and I'm just collecting three simple pieces of data here. They're just simple input text boxes. Uh, and they have names. And just a submit button. Uh, so when it's submitted uh, to results, results will, I'm in the results method right now, it will uh, create a Python variable called first name, and it will get the argument uh, first name from the form, get that data and put it in here. It'll get the data from the last name parameter and put it in here, and it'll get the data from the age parameter and put it in the Python variable age. And then down here, we just string them all together and finally give it back to a page called results. So I want to watch what happens uh, at the network level when I'm using uh, get in my form requests. So if I'm watching the network, I need to be using Wireshark. Um, I'm using a, f a Flask development server, so it's running on my computer, uh, port 5000. So I've created a filter, and it's on the loopback. So let me start the, the capture. So now I'm capturing network traffic going to my local host, port 5000. And let me go visit the site. Okay, if I come in here and look, there's some other things going on up here, but right here it gets pretty interesting. This is the ACK, the ACK sent and the ACK. Um, and then it's going to do an update. Uh, the server to the client is going to send some kind of an update. That's fine. Uh, but here is the client asking the server for the web page. So if I look at the application level, uh, I can see a GET request. It's going to the server, and then the server is giving it back uh, the file that it uh, is configured to hand back. And that's happening here. So at the application layer, I'm getting a 200 OK, which is great. I expect that. And in the request, I'm sorry, in the response body is all the HTML for the browser to parse. And now the browser is here. So the next thing I'll do is go fill in this data and submit it. And I'll notice a couple of things. Um, when I submit the data, it is submitted as parameters on the URL. So question mark and then everything that follows question mark is parameters. So there's the first name text box with its value, the last name text box with its value, the age text box with its value, and all the parameters are separated with an ampersand. So having it passed in the, the uh, URL like this is not a good idea. Uh, it's going to be passed in the clear. So if, this, if someone's credit card number was in there, you could see it. And also, this URL bar is, uh, is limited. It, it will only hold so much space. So better is to put this in the response body. And we'll look at that uh, in, in just a minute. So now, if I come in, this is submitting the form. And if I look at the HTTP, uh, the HTT, yeah, the HTTP protocol, I can see that it's requesting results and all of this stuff is coming through in the clear. So this has to be in the clear so that it knows where to go so everybody can see uh, data that's being passed back and forth and there's nothing in the, the uh, request body. So passing it as a GET request isn't a good idea. It's a much better idea to pass it as a POST request. We'll take a look at that in the next video.